Never Stop Learning, week 228. We're going to take a quick look at image adjustments as smart filters, which is a new feature in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015. All right, so here I've got an image set up, and if you look in the Layers panel, you'll notice that I have this set up as a smart object. Now, I want to apply an adjustment to this, but I want it to only affect my smart object. So let me show you how I would do this in my workflow. All right, so I'd go to the Adjustments panel, click on Curves, and at the bottom of the Properties panel, I'm going to click on this guy here. All right, so this is actually going to clip that adjustment to my smart object. What that means is any changes that I make to these curves, you're only going to see it applied to my smart object. All right, so let me show you another way to work. I'll throw this guy away. All right, now I'm going to go to the Layer menu. I'm going to look for New Adjustment Layer, and I'm going to go with Curves again. All right, now when you go this route, you could actually name the adjustment, but what I want to do is click on this box here. It says use previous layer to create clipping mask. When I click OK, we're actually clipping this adjustment directly to the smart object. All right, so now let me show you guys the new way to work in the Creative Cloud. All right, so I've got this guy targeted. Here's my smart object. I'm going to go to the Image menu and Adjustments. All right, I'm going to go with Curves again. And in here, I'm going to go with the preset of strong contrast and click OK. All right, so now I've got this strong contrast going on in my image. But more importantly, over here in the Layers panel, notice it says Smart Filters and Curves. So this Curves adjustment is being applied directly to my Smart Object. All right, so I'm going to go back to the Image menu, find Adjustments. And this time, I'm going to go with Levels because we could actually stack these guys. Now, I also have a keyboard shortcut for levels, so let me hit Escape to get out of that. I'm going to hit Command L, brings up levels. For preset, I'm going to bring up my midtones, click OK. All right, back in the Layers panel, we got curves at the bottom because that was the first one we applied. Then after curves, we applied levels. I'm going to go with Command U to bring up my U and saturation. All right, for the preset, I'm going to go with the yellow boost on my master. Now I'm going to switch over to blues and increase the saturation to somewhere around 24 has been working out good. Click OK. And now I have that adjustment applied to my image. All right, so now how do we work with these guys? All right, back in the Layers panel, I'm going to just play around with this guy at the top. Over on the right, see these sliders? When you double click on that, it's going to bring up the blending options. All right, that means you can change the blend mode for the individual um, adjustments that you made. All right, so I'm going to go with Multiply, and if that's too harsh, you could back off on the opacity. I'm going to click Cancel, because I don't want to apply those changes. Now, if you double-click on the name of the adjustment, it's actually going to bring up that filter, the one you applied. So we're not applying a new filter, you're just making adjustments to the existing filter. I'll hit Cancel to get out of that. And then you see these little eyeballs? That's where you control the visibility of the filters. So over here at the top, that's going to turn all of them off. If I click on it again, it's going to turn all of them back on. Now I could target individual ones right in here and just turn them back on by clicking on it again. All right, this little white box here, that's going to be the mask for your smart filters. So if you only want your smart filters to show up on a particular portion of your image, you would go into this mask area and make adjustments there. So there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at image adjustments as smart filters in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015.